Here it was good everybody, we back. Some more Mass Effect. get her before you do the mission that her mom is on because when you have her it makes that the mom is like I can't do this to my daughter but if you don't have her you don't have that option and that makes it harder I love the little intricacies about this game though like that Headshot.
This shit, guys. I remember doing that. Like, when I was younger, and I had to do it a few times.
There's no way that this is not going to Oh! Whoa! I'm just gonna sit this open now. Okay, I see the motherfucker. Yo, let me change my bullets to fire bullets. Do you want to be blue or are you sick? Mm -hmm. I'm a little sick of blue. Okay. Green? This has to be. Yeah, I think this is it. I think we're good. Oh, thank goodness.
shit broke. Oh, yes. There she is. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Are you, Are okay? you okay? What, what happened, happened to you? Listen, this thing I need is a profane security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? <clears throat> Your mother, Your mother is working, is working with, with Saren. Saren. Whose side, side are you, are you on? on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Venezia's daughter, but I am nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth came out, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how they'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. your gun overheat, that's what it is. I was supposed to go like back here and get a code, but I just figured it out myself. Thank you. 
How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Venezia is involved? Saren's looking for the Condor. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously he wants you to help him find it. The Condor? But I don't know. These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We gotta get the fuck out of here. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, Mr. Fur. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill you. <laughs> In case, In case you didn't, you didn't notice, notice, this place, place is falling, falling apart. Exorally, isn't it? Thanks, Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. And the Doctor. Whatever, Whatever it is you want, you are, want, you are, not, you are not getting it from me. me. She'll stay She'll with us, thanks. Not an option. Sarah wants it. And he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. Not that doesn't matter.
glad we did that mission. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Yes. Damn it, that's great. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there. And not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible Does that sound familiar? Voice entry in one piece? The Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. Oof. But I know I'm right. Let's go. One mass effect, baby. Eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays in the Citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of them. How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Vision? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. 
No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Protean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. No, this isn't how us find Sarah, or the Kaka. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit, or Sarah. Where is the door? I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. I'm afraid I'm feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Not I'm sad that so many of my mugs have chips in them. And it's like my mugs. It's like I even use them. I barely use them. Until more recently. Everyone else uses my mugs. I did break like one or two of them though. By accident. Not on purpose. Oh, my Dragon Ball, my Goku one, I actually still obsessed with that, bro. I remember Mez got me that for Christmas, like, two years ago. Oh, yeah. Ooh, sorry, guys. Just taking a quick break. Lighting a candle. Lighting a candle.
hope she doesn't die. No one needs like some stability in his life. He does, and I like her. You're right? <laughs> I feel like if anyone's gonna understand what he's going through, like he's coming to work, blah blah blah, it's gonna be her. And like being in the dangerous We can, we can talk, talk again, again after you've seen, seen the doctor. doctor. The, the rest, rest of you, you dismissed. dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? Patch you through, Joker. Setting, Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Yes, yes, Commander. Commander. Carry, Carry on, on Presley. Presley. Yes, yes ma'am. This guy's racist towards your lines. I, I, I prefer gold, gold to silver, silver, you know, you for know, my metal. metal. I figured he'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled the boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make you shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're leaving? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive before we got stuff like back and uh, uh, sneak really up on you if you're not careful. Broken. The Normandy's yeah. probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I'd like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not, I'm not good. good. I'm, I'm not, not even great. great. I'm, I'm the, the best, best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top, Top of my class in flight school, school I, earned I earned that. that. All, All those commendations in my file, I earned, I earned every single one. one. Those, those weren't were given to me as charity for my disease. disease. I'm sorry, sorry Joker. Joker. I didn't even know you were sick. You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay. okay, I've, I've got, got Froelich syndrome. Brittle, brittle bone, bone disease. disease. The, the bones, bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much too force, and they'll shatter. Even, Even with, with crutches, crutches and my leg braces, braces, it's hard, hard to get around. Get around. One, One wrong, wrong step, step and crap! It's very, very dramatic. dramatic. But I've learned, learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bone. So he had like, kind of like, no. Along the post fight about brittle bones. Yeah. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. 
She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I work my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I need to know more about this Rolex. He's mad better. I mean, but I don't understand it because of that. Yeah, of course. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. I classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, ankles. My bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're looking for an inspirational tale of a crippled kid overcoming impossible odds, you're gonna be disappointed. My mother was a civilian contractor working for the Alliance. I basically grew up on the Arcturus station back when they were building up the fleets. Spend all that time around Alliance ships, there's a good chance you'll end up going to the Academy. I have to go. Alright, see ya. It's alright, see ya. <laughs> Yes, Commander? Yes, Carry on, Cosley. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Check up on everyone real quick. <coughs> I like the volcano. Because, like, I'm like... Hi? Or not? Uh... <coughs> Commander, do you have a minute? I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. I mean, it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers.
Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Malenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or, you know, for justice. Now, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in Bot. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. on this chair is done. Jump zero, zero is the station, station, right? right? What's, What's it like? like? Yeah, that's yeah, the official, official name. Biggest, biggest and farthest, farthest facility, facility we have in decades. decades. Right, right, right on the termination shot. Outer edge of the solar, solar system. system. It's where they did all the goose chase at the L research before we caught on to the mass effect fees. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did we have a little circle to get the other unit. 
Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she, she felt, felt the same. same. But, but things, things never felt all together. Training. Training. You know, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? certain? No, no, no. 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 Doesn't mean they didn't have. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down out of it. I'm not saying that the intention of getting their drive to the house, but in my retrospect, they were a little quick, quick, quick. He's bizarre because his hair matches the color scheme. The grand gateway to humanity is a lot better than it is. This was supposed to be a casual deep deep on a whole session of stuff that happened years ago. Am I putting, I'm interested, I want to know my crew, you're right. We have to depend on each other in current contact. I like knowing what kind of man I have in my back. I understand, understand. ma'am. I won't, I won't let you let down. You, down. you, you uh, make a habit of getting, getting this person with everyone. What do you think? No, just you? Just on the green. Hmm. <clears throat> no, just you is definitely flirty. I feel like the what do you think is also flirty too. I'm going to go with to some degree. Okay. Of course. Of course. But I don't, but I don't enjoy, enjoy it with everyone. everyone. We'll talk, we'll talk again, again later. later. I still made a couple uh, of I'll, I'll need some time, time to process, process this thing. But, but, yeah, yeah. I'd like that. Oh, man. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be with you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Anything you think, Commander? We'll talk, we'll talk later, later, King. I'd like, I'd like that. Oh, fuck. We're too hot. Where's Garrus? <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Dr. Chakwash. If you ever do play, you could go every time, like if you're low on health, just quickly go to the ship and go to do the, the doctor station and just go to the first aid station. It re replenishes your your all your health items. Yes, yes Commander. Is, is there something, something you need? I should, I should go. go. Goodbye, Goodbye Commander. Think Liara's over here. Yes. You about to have sex. No, not yet. Crazy. Commander, are, are you coming, coming to check, check up, up on me? I was worried. Are you okay? No. Worried. You look much, much better. better. How are, are you feeling? feeling? Dr. Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going, going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never thought I would thank you for saving me from the death man. You hadn't shown up. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard the ship. 
I have seen the way your crew looks at me, they do not trust me. But I am not like Venezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't, Don't worry, Yara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. I like to talk about Tell me about yourself, Yara. Mm -hmm. I am afraid I am not, not very interesting, interesting Commander. I spend most, most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long forgotten Korean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the guests followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the Matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No! I did not mean to insinuate... Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. This hurts you, doesn't it? None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her, and this was not like her. Something changed. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people.
Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pureblood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you, but couldn't. I mean, something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father... I thought you always needed another species. Think about it, Shepard. If we were not able to mate with our own species, we would have died out long before we ever mastered space flight and left our homeworld. Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari... Asari daughters inherit racial... I am... It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge... How could anyone abandon their own child? I cannot answer that. Benezia never... Sp Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. You Asari live for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard.
Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a C-Sec officer in the first place? Hmm, that's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was C-Sec, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a C-Sec man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not gonna play by our rules, C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. Commander? What's your opinion? I'm sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I think she's being straight with us. Or at least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. I don't think she's used to teasing. Good-natured or otherwise. No fun, Commander. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time... off the record. I keep an open-door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. Alright. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? They may not serve the Alliance Chief, but they're allies, at least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. 
Commander? I'm sorry, Commander. I, I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am? So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good? He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. Couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. So long, Rex. Shepard. Something I can do for you, Commander. Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class? Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, hello, Shepard. I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving, and the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? The 
silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. I should go. See you later. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answer the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now, we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck.
hate that they always throw that you're human. Like, hey, you know, you, you still you still one of us, bro. You gotta help us. Like, you saying that makes me not want to help you. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you all for joining. We are an hour and 27 minutes into this another playthrough of Mass Effect. I think we played like three times today. And yeah, it's been a good day. Ugh, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. But we have to make paper. One second, I'm just trying to find a basketball stream. I just picked that one. Control, this is the SSD Normandy requesting vector to Normandy arrivals must schedule. Our defense crews are on the track east. Stay your business. Citadel business. We got a gun to suspect our Landing access provided in Normandy. Advise, we confirm our identification arrival. If confirmation on the established process will be confirmed. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take, take my, my next nice leave here. here. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Carry on, Wesley. Yes, yes ma'am. Commander. Commander. Something you need? I have, I have to, to go. go. All right, All right see, see you. you.
Thank you for the thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey lots, how you been? How you been? <clears throat> uh, I'm loving Mass Effect. I I played it before when it first came out, the trilogy. I played it a lot. Uh I finally got the legendary edition and uh I'm playing it through for my girl for the first time. Thank you, yo, I appreciate it. Just for that. Get one of these. Yo, I appreciate it, Mega. Yo, have a have a good have a good night. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna go with Garrus. Garrus gives us a little bit of tech and and some combat. <laughs> Yo, what the, what the host of five, yo? Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. If you guys hear an oh, echo, let me know. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Show some respect. I'm Captain Maiko Matsuo, Elana's risk control services. They're talking crazy right now. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Ovaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Let's not start a fight. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Monsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. I am sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. Get out of here. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I can't have my investigation hampered. Tread lightly. The board can bury you in litigation. You'd need an Asari lawyer to see the case through. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? 
Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, we don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're a part of my crew. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. You gotta build relationships in this game. Make sure your crew feels secure because it could impede later on. Like they could die because of it. Because you don't trust they don't, they don't trust you or or stuff like that. Welcome to Thank y'all for joining the man. I appreciate y'all for your independent scientific research and development. For your, For your own safety, safety and, to and to protect, protect the privacy of others, others you, are you are required, required to, obey to obey any directions given by our security, security personnel. personnel. If, you if you have questions or concerns, or concerns our friendly, friendly administrative, administrative staff is always available. Thank, Thank you, you, and enjoy, enjoy your stay. stay. This one offers greetings. You are the spectre that visits Port Hanchin. No fuck allowed. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed spectre. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I'm supposed to uphold the law, not break it. This one understands. The offer shall remain open. It truly needs the help. Tell me about the job again. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station. But you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to say That is not inaccurate. I won't carry anything if I don't know. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing that I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay.
I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Could I buy something now? Is there anything in particular the Spectre is looking for? See the license, you want to get that. Okay. Because licenses let you allow, allow you to use other guns and stuff. You're the You're inspector, right? Um, manager told us not to talk to you. They say there hasn't been access to PPT. I'm on, I'm on duty, duty Spectre. I should, I should be talking. Be talking. Don't make me so scrap that you need those guns. 
You're all gonna thank me when I save all y'all. At some point, it's because I have my guns. How can, can I, I help, help you? you? Tell me Tell about me the about companies, companies that work, that work on Bavaria. Over 250 high-tech firms lent our labs. Major shareholders include Elon Musk, Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Synthetic Insights Limited. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Much of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Haven't I seen synthetic insights in the news lately? They're one of only four corporations licensed by the Citadel Council to develop artificial intelligence. They attract many protests. No agitators have ever breached our security. That's why they invest heavily here. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? The executive board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. I hear there was an accident on Peak 15. We're aware of the rumors. At the moment, contact with the facility is down due to weather. All employees should review their non-disclosure agreements and avoid irresponsible free talk. So, everyone shut up and keep your heads down? Loose lips sink third quarter profits. You have a more blunt way of speaking than is common here, Commander. What corporations work on Peak 15? Binary Helix has leased the entire complex. What kind of weather cuts modern communications? A blizzard is sweeping the Scotty Mountains right now. Between the cloud cover and heavy snow, the satellite uplinks are cut. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. Is there some problem on Peak 15? An area of severe weather is cut off contact. Things will return to normal in a few days. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What brought her out here? 
If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. What did you mean by personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Opold wants me to smuggle a package through security. I need more than your word to act on that. Bring me whatever he's smuggling, and I'll act accordingly. So you'll arrest him? No one here is fond of trials. They make shareholders nervous. More likely, we would simply let him go. Of course, he would be blacklisted by the companies here. Not so fast. In exchange, I want garage access. You are shrewd to use this as leverage. If it is a serious infraction, I will give you a pass. I'll look into it and get back to you. I appreciate your report. I'm leaving. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Mr. Analeus isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen? Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. I've taken up enough of your time. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, after all. Yo, 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 thank you all for joining, joining, you know, we chilling. <clears throat> we are trying to find Matriarch Benezia. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's me. me. I used to be a military attack. Except, Except for my people, everyone's too corporate. 
They just sit around sipping expensive water. What can, what can I, I do, do for you? you? You seem, you seem like, like you have anything to ground. What's, What's happening, happening around, around here? here? There's, There's problems up on Peak 15. 15. Steady insights shut, shut down, down by our place. place. And I'm a major kicking. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find. Oh, no, no. There's a lizard up there, but we've had no loot before. Never cut a satellite like this before. Fifteen is all we said about our reputation. Nobody, Nobody talks, talks about, about what they do there. there. And, and everyone set up, up comes, comes back, back a little quieter. Do you know where that patriarch is now? You look over her. She, she took herself to pick 15 before we lost contact. contact. What was what that was about that synthetic, synthetic insights? insights? Scott says Lord Key was on the day. Zion Lee shut down inside his offices. Quietly, so the off world lawyers come in on it. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanks. Just call me. Humans, Humans have a problem saying my full name. name. Got, Got a team of 12 with me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. How can I get into the garage? You need a pass. You can get one from Analeas for the managers, if you can polish enough gizzard. Maybe you could let me borrow yours? Sure. If I wanted to lose my job and get sued into the next spiral arm, security tracks card use. I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave this station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analeas. No exceptions. I'm sorry.
not be fooled by these civilized surroundings. This is a place of secrets and lies. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... Real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. You think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. the Spectre, right? Management told us not to talk to you. What sort of offer did they make you? Good. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to mention numbers. They don't write them down on the bills, do they? Full benefits, of course. No, I'm sure the company takes care of the time.
Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... Oh, what is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeas's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? It's a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. Are you referring to the blizzard? Of course. What else? I should let you go. Let me go. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. It's a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. The administrator won't give us garage access. Not surprising. Of course, all the managers have access as well. I do. Did you that. see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Young males have an unhealthy obsession with my species.
armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. Saren, and by extension, Venezia, is an important person. By that I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. Do you know why Benezia is here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I have a different question. Humans are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. I should let you go. If you wish, I will continue to enjoy the bar. Alright guys, that's it for tonight. I'm gonna go to sleep and head to bed early because I have work in the morning. Y'all have a good night, thank you for everything. Alright, peace.